everybody and welcome to day 243 and good evening and today I'm going to be reading you the next two chapters in this book called Moni Macbone the Accidental Hero by Ray Flannery and illustrations by Ray and Rory Flannery called Eight Days to Go and Seven Days to Go. Just over one week to the big final I am starting to get excited about it now. It's a real big deal in the school when you walk down the corridor near Miss Strong's office. You will see photos of the other school teams that have won the school fine, school's final. I wonder will our photo be going up soon. I can even hear the speech now as the photo is unveiled. A few players even managed to play for the club senior team when they got older they are heroes i wonder will i become one of those heroes all the younger kids know the names of all the players on the senior team that would be cool to have them all chanting my name mikey 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 all the other players carrying me on their shoulders as we do a lap of honour. I can picture it so clearly when whack. I was soon woken up when Mr. O'Rourke hit me in the ear with a piece of, a chalk, of chalk. I was in a world of my own. Willie told me I was looking out the window daydreaming. Apparently Mr. O'Rourke had been calling me for ages to answer a question. I never heard a thing. Good sh shot, Todd. We didn't get too much homework today, but I got punished for my daydreaming. I had to write out, I must not daydream in class about playing football for a a hundred times. I had a plan to type it out and photocopy it. I thought Mr. Orr could notice. Then Mark broke the news to me that I had to write it myself. Ah! Time! I am not happy. Then I thought I would write it out on a page and just photocopy that page. Mark just laughed at my master plan. He had tried to it before himself and had got caught it wouldn't work either double ah it was a real pain having to write it out especially when i looked out the window and i saw willie walking past my house with a football under his arm i knew he was heading to the football pitch to do extra practice i so wanted to go with him i even asked mark if he would finish off my lines i even tried bribing him bribing him with chocolate that I had hidden in my sock drawer but he wouldn't do it. I also forgot that our writing doesn't look the same. Mark reminded me very quickly if I hurried up a bit I might get a few minutes practicing. Coach Ferguson is always telling us to practice, practice, practice. Seven days to go. Chapter 2, which I'm going to be reading you today. I am getting a half day today from school because I have to go to Roger Payne, the dentist, for a checkup. I hate the dentist. All my friends hate the dentist too, except maybe Pete. He just loves pain. Every time I hear the sound of the drill or the thing of sucking the water out of your mouth, I start to shiver. Mom is delighted that I'm going to the dentist because it's a few doors away from Carol Cotter's salon. So Mom will nip in and get her hair done after my visit. Uh. Her hair done after my visit. When we get to the dentist, the receptionist, Amy, opens the door. She is really tall. It's funny when she stands beside the dentist because he is really small. She brings me into his room and tells me to sit myself on the big chair. The chair is cool. I would love a chair like it this at home, pushing all the buttons to make it go up and down, then that 
Big light is put over my head. Oh, oh. The dentist starts calling out funny letters and numbers to the dental nurse. Sounds like a secret code. Then I hear those words you don't want to hear. Oh, no. You need a little filling. He rubs some cold cream on my gum. After a few minutes, I feel like my mouth is frozen and I can't talk properly. Then I hear that whirring sound of the drill. It's all over in a few minutes and actually wasn't that bad. He tells me not to have any sweets, lollipops or crisps for a few days. A whole weekend with no treats. Ah! Mum goes into cutters and gets her hair done. Quickly, as we are leaving, Carol calls me back to tell me that she heard that I was very brave in the dentist's. Then, what do you think she hands me a lollipop? Ah! Again! Mark laughs at me when I get home because I can't talk properly. Then he takes the lollipop. He tells me I won't need it for a while. He will mind it for me. Somehow, I don't think I will ever see it again, even at dinner time. Mark was still laughing at me. I was dribbling out of the corner of my mouth because the anaesthetic hadn't worn off yet. When I tried to tell Mum that Mark was laughing at me, I sounded it sounded like I said, Mum, Mar is lowing at me. Everybody at the table started laughing at me. Food spread and out of some of their mouths. I actually had to see the funny side of it myself. I couldn't stop myself from laughing with them. The end. I hope you enjoyed that lovely two chapters called Eight Days to Go and Seven Days to Go. So I nearly finished the book. Um, yes. Um, let me see how many chapters left. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chapters left, and then I will be reading you about the author. So, um, enjoy the rest of your day, and people already want to buy my bookmarks, which is very good. So, and I have 108 subscribers. And yes, I will also be sending a bookmark to lots of people and people that I know. And so I guess I will see you all tomorrow f for day 244 of Reese's Stories. So make sure to buy one of my bookmarks and I'm using it first and there I love them myself. And if these get successful, I will be designing more with books and pencils if they get successful and if lots of people buy them. And you can get them on my Instagram page. So bye everybody.